The Constitution of India has a comprehensive framework to protect the rights of individuals. And the question one can ask when we think about this is, why should minorities have separate rights? By establishing rights of minorities, we recognize that there is, in society, groups that are different from us. Democracies are often vulnerable to the tyranny of the majority, where there is a culture of impunity that is reigning, where people can attack religious minorities, Dalits, women and tribals, and yet face no consequences. Christian human rights groups recorded close to 300 incidents of violence in 2020. We have now, in nine states of India, laws that or policies that regulate how religious conversions take place. Sadly, under this new law, even marriages are seen as an inducement. In fact, the High Court held that the state has no business in uh, monitoring a person's religious aspirations. And these are the checks and balances that we require in all society. It may be true that the law cannot change the hearts but it can restrain the heartless. India is a salad bowl, not a melting pot. The drafters of the Constitution of India saw India's religious diversity as a strength and an integral part of India's ethos. Bandhuta uh, draws on this powerful concept of being bound together, being united together, knitted together. India is a symphony where there are, as in an orchestra, differing instruments, each with its particular sonority each with its special sound, all combining to interpret one particular score. It is this combination that this country has stood for. Watch the full video on India Inclusive YouTube channel.